welcome back to another Embodied Engagement with me, Kate Crouch. Today we are looking at some pieces by Andrea Joyce Heimer. She is another Montana artist that we get to feature. And this collection of work is called Pastime. Thinking about the word pastime is two parts. How we use our time and also what's behind us. And her pieces really reflect on both of those things, specifically through these past couple of more interesting years of the pandemic. I'll invite you to either sit down and watch. If you want to stand up and move a little bit with me, that's great as well. And there's going to be a portion where I'll invite you to do your own journaling or writing or even doodling. So if you want to pause and go find a piece of paper and pencil, um, go right ahead. And that's, of course, just going to be a stepping off point for any time you'd like to journal in reflection to this later. All right, so we'll begin with just making yourself comfortable. And you can make yourself comfortable in your chair and let your shoulders roll down, maybe close the eyes. If you want to peek up at the piece that we're going to highlight in just a moment and then let your eyes kind of fuzz out, go right ahead. And this piece is called Sometimes We Shoplifted at the Mall. And let yourself get comfortable. And I'm going to highlight three parts of the body for you to specifically pay attention to as you begin to shift and transition into our time together. The first space is between the shoulder blades. So go ahead and either close the eyes or just feel and sense the space right between the shoulder blades. And I'll invite you to take a long deep breath. Feeling that back side of the body and as you exhale, you'll notice that your shoulders soften. Maybe the chest softens a little bit. We'll take three more breaths, highlighting the space between the shoulder blades, big inhale. And as you exhale, start to allow the softness to travel over the shoulders, down the arms, and even out through the fingertips. Another two breaths, highlighting the space between the shoulder blades. And one more. We're gonna to move to the space right in the middle of the low back. Either feel, sense, or imagine that space right in the middle of the low back. And we'll take a couple of diaphragmatic or belly breaths. Feel free to take your hands onto your belly. As you inhale and exhale, allow that softening warmth to travel over the hips, down the legs. Three more times, deep inhale into the belly. Transitioning in, softening. Feel free to wiggle through the hips or shift or change once the muscles start to accommodate and relax. Two more breaths. And one last inhale and exhale. So now that we've worked in the torso, the arms, the low half of the body, We'll move to just at the base of the skull so you can feel, sense, imagine, or even kind of feel around for where your skull and the spine meet. And we'll inhale, just feeling the cool air travel into your body and exhale, warm air exiting. Inhaling, allow a softness and opening to travel down the throat back of the neck, jaw, maybe you want to wiggle your face around or move your neck to create more space. Another two breaths. Softening the inner ear, the tongue. And last inhale, exhale. Isn't that nice? All right. So feel free to blink your eyes back open as we look at sometimes we shoplifted at the mall. The memories and pastimes way that you've spent time intersect here in a really glorious way for me. I also really like the color pink, so I was super drawn to this one. The visual representations of actions and how our memory kind of like bounces around. So if you look, there's no real linear travel to the thoughts. And if you think about your own memories, 
they sort of highlight different sounds or sights or smells and let those bubble to the surface first. And so the artist has done the same thing with their visual work. If you get really close, you can see that there's not just one mouth, but multiple mouths on a lot of the figures and that there is some shouting or loudness and then these bright colors and interspersed with different layers. At first I thought they were stickers, <laughs> which is pretty cool. I think that's probably how I would do it, because <laughs> I would like I like to cut and paste. But they're really blocked out in this very specific way, maybe with um, masking tape or something like that. I imagine that the artist is taking and using different layers and then peeling them back just like our memory. And now is a great time to pick up your pen and pencil if you wanted to or just mentally kind of roll through maybe the past year. We'll just start, or not even the past year, let's go out with just the past week. Feel free to close your eyes or again fuzz out, find somewhere to look at that doesn't move and if you enjoy using the artwork as your own visual and memory jumping off point, go right ahead. So if we think about the past just week, maybe there's some sort of like a bubble in your brain, some words or scenes or things that highlight. So as I think back, I'm thinking about some classes that I taught, maybe some faces, individual faces that I can see, and then some sounds. And maybe some colors, or even some tastes. And notice how you can feel these different layers of your memory come up, and that this traveling of time forward and back just organically occurs. Allow yourself to sit in just one of those sensations or memories. So I'm going to pick when I was teaching second graders, and I was teaching them movement, and I can see and smell, which is maybe not a great thing, and just feel the energy in the room. And it's so interesting that those memories create right now the same mutual kind of mirror effect. So let yourself travel back through the past week, picking that one memory to sort of sink into. And feel free again to doodle, draw, or write it down. And then notice where that comes up for you in your body. Maybe it was a time that didn't feel so great, and so you feel a little anxiety. Let's use that three-part breath that we just played with, highlighting the three points in the body. While you're sitting in your memory, take a nice big inhale into the space between the shoulder blades. I can feel myself, my shoulders start to soften, and then into the space in the low back. And the base of the skull. Notice if there is any change as you paired this mindful breath with your past experience or your past time. So hopefully, once you brought that memory back up and we utilized our breath technique, you're feeling calm and centered and grounded again. We're going to transition to this next piece called We Hunted for Fossils. They're really long because they're about a memory. We hunted for fossils in the cow pastures all around Great Falls, Montana, to find out what used to live there before us. What drew me into this artwork was the layers and how, in particular, this one figure, it, it looks like they're really diving down into the ground while they're looking, and then there's some folks who are underneath the ground, and it felt like these blocks of time, or these 
little vignettes within one story. And now with this as our highlighted piece, just wanted to talk about how memories are so accessible and this relationship between our memory and sensation are something that we can always go back to. Um, I don't know if anyone else has this experience, but sometimes I wake up at, we'll say 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the morning, that right time when it's just the worst time to wake up. And that's when I start kind of going through what feels like this filing of different memories and experiences. And I try not to let it <laughs> pull me like this, like all the way down. And so then I'm just thinking and going back and sort of those different files of memories. And so one technique that I have been using is the three-part breath, um, which is why I'm using it today, because I think it's a great way to tap into our different centers and different parts of the body to notice where we're holding tension. But also um, we can sit within some of that discomfort and sort of let it wash over us without needing to get sucked <laughs> down into um, what feels like sometimes not being able to get out of a memory. So now I'm going to ask you to do a difficult thing, which is to file back. Maybe it was recently or maybe it was a long time ago into a memory that or a time in your life that seems like it's on that sort of track that keeps coming up and coming up and coming up. And if you're like me, it comes up at 3 o'clock in the morning. You're welcome to journal, to write, to doodle something about this. Or just let yourself sort of sit with it for a moment. And notice where the, that sensation of rolling back into difficulty lays on the body. Feel free to use the scanning technique of from the toes up to the head or through the arms. And notice how it can sort of spiral and pull you in and pulls in different sort of memories or blocks and that they're somewhat disjointed. We'll use our breath, those three points, base, right between the shoulder blades. So let's start there. I can even feel myself start to soften in the place right in the middle of the low back and the base of the skull. Peeking again at the artwork, allow your eyes to travel around and see sort of what highlights for you and what memories or thoughts pop up for you. Maybe there's a time when you went hunting with someone or looking or in a group. And start to feel the sensation of maybe even the dirt and the soil. So allow our bodies and our memories to ground into the earth. Or you could imagine that your toes are in the soil, you're gardening. Thinking about from here, maybe other times where you felt grounded. And then take a moment to feel and sense that standing outside. Maybe it's a prairie or maybe it's just outside in your garden, or if you're in an apartment. And feel the sensation of the sun on your skin and bright, cool air. And maybe some clouds. And go back to your journaling or your memory and file back through to a time when you felt grounded and stable, maybe at your either most productive 
or a time when you felt really accomplished. And so here is where we're going to transition out from our time together, drawing upon that memory of accomplishment, pride, feeling grounded, sturdy, and stable in who you are. And we'll take our breaths between the shoulder blades, out through the hands, middle of the back, out through the feet, in through the nose, base of the skull, and out through the crown of the head. You can blink open. I hope that you enjoyed this time with me and that you can use these tools another time. And of course, if you have time to come down and experience this group of works by Andrew Joyce Heimer, we would love to see you here. Thank you. Thank you.